I, I firmly believe that uh, agriculture research has a key role to play uh, in this question of searching for sustainability in the future. There are two big issues. The first is that agriculture itself re requires a healthy natural resource base. Think about the soils, the land, the water, and biodiversity that agriculture requires. But the way we practice agriculture uh, has been, in fact, destroying that natural resource base. The second is we see moving forward, there, we're already a point across the globe or in several locations across the globe where several natural resource limits are being reached or breached. For example, what we see is an increasing rate of land degradation, and it's impossible to get increased productivity gains without, the, um, without a, a um, healthy soils. Secondly, we see groundwater levels plummeting in many breadbasket areas of the world. And the question is, how long can they sustain food production? And third is, river systems are being depleted such that there's no additional water for additional agriculture and very, very little water is flowing to the sea. And in fact, in many cases, uh, there's not enough water to meet essential environmental functions. The, um, there are few answers to, to, that can help us address these issues. The first answer is that we have to have a real change in the way we think about agriculture. I think the typical thinking is that agriculture is a production system. But in fact, what we need to do is to start to view agriculture systems as ecosystems in themselves, as agroecosystems. The second part is that those agroecosystems deliver a whole range of ecosystem services. I think there are some really good examples here in Sri Lanka, which is famous for what they call tank cascades, basically small reservoirs that capture rain, use that rain for irrigating paddy, and collecting additional water to irrigate the next paddy field downstream. But in fact, these systems do a lot more than support rice production. They support fisheries, for example, or livestock. Uh, people use the water in these systems for drinking water, for bathing, as well as for pleasure. Uh, also, around these areas, you see tremendous uh, wildlife, birds, uh, dragonflies, and, and a huge wealth of biodiversity. In fact, sometimes other people call this tank cascades uh, wetlands because they have such a, an important uh, ecosystem function. Research can help in a number of ways. The first is to identify ecosystem services either created or, or, uh, or impacted by agroecosystems to value those services and to figure out ways and incentives to manage agriculture for ecosystem services. The second is to recognize that there are some complicated issues across scale. For example, a farmer taking more water upstream may certainly impact somebody downstream, but that upstream farmer may not recognize it. In that cross-scale question is a really important question about intensive agriculture where we have high, yield, high yields in terms of both land and water, and secondly, uh, versus extensive systems where the yields might be lower, but they produce more ecosystem services. And I believe it, it's important not just to look at a, a plot or a farmer's field with intensive systems, but rather take a whole landscape point of view. So it could be on a certain pieces of land, you get very high yielding crops, uh, and yet you support forests and cities and other ecosystems such that you can, with intensive agriculture, support healthy uh, ecosystems on a broad scale. The third big point is that it's not going to be easy. There will be really hard trade-offs to make when we consider that we have to produce more food for the future. We probably we have to give up something. And so the idea is to, to help us manage those trade-offs by looking at what is the expense of various options? Who are the winners and who are the losers? Are we make, taking actions that will be of detriment to the rural poor? And finally, to figure out ways to manage those trade-offs. When we look 
to the future, it's not going to be any easier. We've got to produce more food for a growing population. We're facing climate change and another variety of environmental drivers. So I, I firmly believe to answer these complicated social, ecological issues, agricultural research is absolutely essential to help us in the future. Thank you.